Okay, tell me again. She just called me stupid. <laughs> I was off camera, so nobody would ever believe me. <laughs> Go ahead, start. Now she's beating me. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of a fairy and a deity talking about sex. I'm the deity. I'm the fairy. And we're going to talk about... Sex. <laughs> And relationships. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important part. All right. All right. So what I'm noticing is that as the rise of the feminine is happening, men are fucking clueless. Do you agree? Well, we're all going through big shifts and changes, yeah. She's so nice. <laughs> She's not this nice when we're not on camera. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be not nice too. Well, I doubt that. You're, but you're scared in general, of her doing play. you know, in general... Everyone's going through different aspects of it. And yes, some people are, you know. Men are cutting their penises off. Okay. That's what we're talking about? No. I'm just <laughs> talking about the major problems that we're going through as a civilization. We're all going through some significant changes. Yeah. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about why. Okay. Okay. So, as you guys know, consciousness is the ground of reality. Love, light, understanding, eight-dimensional hypergrid. You know about that stuff, right? So, what happens is, after the primal force polarizes, the first permutation is male and female. You actually see this in reality. Like, when we put together a tripod, you have to take the male part and put it in the female part, or there's no tripod, right? If you want to start the car, you take the key, you know what kind of part that is, male part, and you stick it in the female part. Now... As part of the liberal agenda, they've got these remote control keys to confuse everybody because the car is not identifying as a car anymore. I'm kidding. But, <laughs> but, but you get the larger point. So, in the highest of the high, there's no gender. And everything's male and female. It's all confusing. And that's why the liberals have lost their minds. Now, here on a fairy, that's me, and a deity, that's her. Talk about sex. We're going to clarify that for you today and how the gender roles actually manifest in society and what we can go through. So every male has an inner female that comes from a higher divine template. Carl Jung called it the anima. I call it the cosmic pussy. I don't really call it that. It just flowed to me. <laughs> flowed to me. So you're saying that every male has cosmic pussy within? Within. Mm. Within. Mm. And we thirst to experience the cosmic pussy. We but thirst. it's within them. It's within them. If they just would, you know, find the way inward. Yes. Mm. This makes sense. Yes. Men need to learn how to finger themselves. <laughs> That's... Well, somehow. I... Really? <laughs> and very happily, too. Really? Oh, yes. I don't want to know about that. <laughs> so... You see, the physical urges are, they're a directional symptom where the man is like, find woman and, you know, you know. Procreate? No! <laughs> it's not what they're thinking. It's not a lot of men walking around thinking, oh my God, I want to make a baby. <laughs> but there may be a lot of men walking around saying to women, hey, I want to make a baby. And they pull out in the last second. And it happens. More often than not. Anyway, so that primal urge is the feminine is like the mysterious quality of life. Yes, it's the magnetism, the magnetic, and the masculine is the electric. Right. And everything on this earth has that electromagnetic balance between it. And men are representing more of the electric on the outside, would you say? And the women are representing more of the magnetic on the inside. Mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, on the outside. But then on the inside, we have both. Right. This is what... And it's always about balance between the masculine and feminine within each person and even in somewhat in our lives. Right. This is what I think a lot of people don't get. So it's like the inside of the male is actually female and the inside of the female is actually male. Right. The anima. Right. So when you're trying to understand, like, what's a woman like, what's a woman like, just think about what a man's like on the outside. Right? And then <laughs> it gets very, very, she disagrees with me. No, I said, what? Oh, think that's about not what it looked like. 
It looked like you were telling our million listeners to fuck to fuck off. No. <laughs> That's what it looked like. No, it didn't. It didn't. It you look. You, it looked like you went no. I just was like, what? You said, say that again. I said the rails mean to me. No, I didn't mean that. Say it again. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll be mean to you now. <laughs> I said that the inside of the male is actually female. Mm-hmm. And the inside of the female it's is actually, actually male. male. No, I followed you there. Right. So, basically, if you look at, say, a male, like a woman on the outside looks emotional, right? They look, mm-hmm. they, they come off emotionally, mm-hmm. right? But inside the feminine is logical and is always calculating mm-hmm. and is always moving, right? It's constantly in thought. Mm-hmm. Right, constantly. The male looks like he's in Which thought. Which thought is a more electric. Anyway, right. go ahead. And the male looks like he's logical, but inside he's still an emotional. Mm-hmm. Right? And this is what people are missing for a large part. So, And this is where all the cravings come from. It's like, oh, I need my soulmate. Oh, I need to get laid. Oh, I need all those things. It's like, no, darling. All you need is to go within and find your cosmic pussy. Right? But women do talk too much about their emotions. Maybe. Maybe silly ones. And maybe men don't talk enough about... I talk about my feelings all the time. Well, you do. Mm-hmm. But not everyone. I know. It so, depends. This is the thing. Everybody's different. So good men and good women will balance these things out. Right? Good Within men? themselves. Yeah, like people that know what the hell they're doing. What is good or bad but thinking makes it so? Eh, maybe. You must explain further. Okay. So morals... This is fun for me. <laughs> yeah, she likes it. Because she gets to put me on the spot. I think she's a good woman. I know. I don't like admitting that. Aww. In front of our millions of people. You want to push my head? I don't know what to say right now. Long story. <laughs> so. That'll come. That explanation <laughs> will come later. On the next episode of A Fairy and Indeed, you talk about sex. <laughs> We talked about this. <laughs> I am both. It's just, what am I on the outside versus what am I on the inside? I know. Et voila. I know. There you go. I'm a gentle fairy. On the inside. Mm. On the inside. I'm a raging beast on the outside. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway. Go ahead, explain the other thing. Hold on, I'm about You're to... in purple. You're very perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm purple. Oh. Obviously. <laughs> Oh, look, I match. That's so cool. I didn't mean to do that. I just really like this shirt because it goes good with yellow. And I don't like to take my tie off. It's like Linus's blanket for me. So, what were we saying? Who the hell knows? I forgot. So, I think a lot of times people, we 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 don't go deep enough into responsibility culturally. We don't realize that if, like I wrote a rap line about this. I said, it was, it was a calling to men. I said, the reason you're not someone's husband is you're not someone who's worth fucking. Right? So the general idea is that if it's a woman that you're craving, you discover your own inner female and then you become worthy of the female and then the females will come. But you don't have to do it. You don't go out and try to find a female. Right? You don't sit there and try. You don't have to interpret very much. You know, with this actually, this enterprise that we have right now started in a conversation where I had... Um, a pussy grew at one point in my life. He, he had slept with like 200 women. And, and I had slept with like three. And, and I was struggling because I was celibate for like 10 years. Nobody wanted to touch my pee-pee. And I would come to my pussy guru. And I would say, oh, wise, oh, wise Puerto Rican pussy guru. Why do they not want to touch my pee-pee? And he said, you do not know the rules of your inner cosmic pussy. I said, please, oh, wise pussy guru, explain to me the rules. He said, in rule number one, she has to like you. <laughs> Why didn't I figure this out myself? I said, oh, wise pussy guru, how do I know if she likes me? Rule number two. If she likes you, it's not a secret. It's not. And then I told Lorel that, and Lorel said. And I said, the thing is, the problem is, so many guys think that just because a woman 
is nice to him or kind to him, they think that that means that she likes him. Like and that. That is not not the case. She could like you in here. Because it doesn't mean she likes you like you this. know, some women are just good people mm -hmm. who are nice to people mm -hmm. and kind to people. And you have to really know and see, is this somebody, is this woman somebody who is kind and generous and nice to everyone that she comes in contact with? Or is she giving you a little something extra? Mm -hmm. So yeah. But I can't tell you how many guys think that I'm all about them because mm -hmm. I'm just being genuinely nice and kind like I would be to anyone. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of that. No, it's a huge part. And men will have a very easy time if they understand these first two commandments. Mm. Right. Now, my yeah, point, she'll let you know. It's very simple. Yeah. Right? It's, <laughs> it's very simple. If, if you call her and she doesn't call you back reasonably fast, Considering what her life is like. She's making excuses. I'll explain. No, no, no. I'll explain. All right. I understand women better than you. No, he's being mean to me. See? You. Ah! <laughs> he wanted me to hit him. I was <laughs> just kidding. And I liked it. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a hard hit. You nice weren't on the other side of it. Oh, it was the emotional impact mm. on your inner pussy. Yes, I'm yes, sorry. Yes. Here, I'll stroke it. Yes, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. That's as close as she'll get to stroking me. <laughs> she doesn't like me like that. No. If she did, I would know. <laughs> and I would fuck her. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, Back to topic. Back to topic. We were on topic. We were just embodying topics. Just fucking around. I was trying to give all of the men the understanding of how to embody true masculinity. So, then my Puerto Rican pussy guru started to fail me a little bit. He did. Because he said, rule number three, she has to think she wants it more than you do. And I said, a wise master of the vaginal arts. <laughs> but if I desire it more than she does, and I convince her otherwise, is this not deceitful? He descended further. Well, what did you expect from a guy who's just... Is he in a relationship, do you think? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay. He has a very wonderful story. He has okay, a very wonderful okay. story. Then he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, ye must do what you must do to get the pussy. A oh, wise pussy master. I, I will not... I will not engage in these manipulative actions. And he said to me, Then you will not taste the sweet nectar. <laughs> <laughs> I went into meditation on this. And? And I said... Now, mind you, this is a very dear friend. He's, okay. a, he's a very wise guy. He's always there for me. I love him very much. I have a good response once and, One done. second. And he, he's currently in, engaged in, like, um, a, a long-term committed relationship. And he doesn't really do those anymore. That was just in his younger years. And then he mm. grew up and, yeah, and yeah. started doing one of All right. So you meditated. So, so I, I went into meditation. I said, I cannot follow the commandments that have been bestowed for me from Mount Pussy. Yet, the sweet nectar is what I do desire. It was 10 years, 10 years with this question. I struggled. Really? Do you see the empathy in her eyes? I feel for him. You, you, poor, you poor thing. Yeah. You poor thing. Um, no sweet nectar for 10 years? No. It's, it's horrible. Thank God God gave me hands. So, I had a realization. What if I transform myself to love the woman? So much that I don't care if she wants to engage sexually. What if my only desire is to become the best man that I can be and be as present and loving as giving to the women as possible? Then all of a sudden, the ladies were clawing my clothes off, yo! It was nuts! It's crazy! And I called up the pussy girl. I wouldn't have went that way, dude. And I said, <laughs> I said, I said to him, but he said, but this is good because you have learned to be yourself and not to be me. Oh, and he is a guru. He's my boy, yo. Yeah. <laughs> you see why the ladies like him. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, my boy. Um, so it brings us into our modern day 
where people aren't sleeping together as much because they're just jerking off on the internet. What happened? She's poking me. I'm right here. You could just ask me whatever you want. You didn't let me give my answer. Oh. What was the question? <laughs> I don't know. Was no, I just thinking no, of... before you you went into meditation on the on the que on the question and Oh the question. Yeah. Well the commandment was mm -hmm. she has to think she wants it more than you. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about something that's gonna piss a lot of people off and see how he is? One second. I want to talk about something that's going to piss a lot of people off. There actually is a rhythm to this. There's actually laws behind this. So when I say the commandments and things like that, if you think that there's like nebulousness about this, there's not. Right? She has to like you. She'll let you know if she likes you. And you must transform yourself to care about her more than sex if you actually want to be attractive and virtuous simultaneously. If you... You're not doing those things. Oh, there was a fourth commandment too. Right? Oh. The fourth commandment was you can't be too available. I said, oh, pussy guru. <laughs> I desire to be available. So I went back into meditation. What this means is I can't be too attached. Mm -hmm. So these are the four laws. She has to like you. It's not a secret. But what do you actually see cosmically happening? Attached is really important. Right. It's all part of the energy exchange, which is what I was going to bring it to. But we'll never get there if I don't jump in. <laughs> she knows how to deal with me. <laughs> well, you're the one who brought this up to me. Just start like, talking. And I was like, you totally get it. You totally get the whole idea of energy exchange between the male and female. And it's not about manip when you find a way beyond it being a manipulation. Because a lot of people do use manipulation. And that's part of their process. And, you know... I don't necessarily condone that, but um, but I find that probably the two people that are involved are working through their own kind of like karmic stuff around everything, around energy and all that. But but I would say we all want want to strive to not be uh, manipulative and to be in alignment, which means not not trying to control someone else and not allowing someone to control you or walk all over you not walking on others and that's part of the whole energy dynamic and this is a huge i mean this is a, whole, a huge solar plexus thing too right it's it's how do you love yourself to have strong enough boundaries to not allow someone to walk on you now there's going to obviously be compromise in situations but you it, it can't be where you're pushing past someone else's boundaries when they're not comfortable with that or or allowing that to happen with you. It's not cool. Yes, you talk about the energy because you talk, you spoke very beautifully about the energy exchange. I'll be saying cool shit. <laughs> okay, so... This is why we're friends. I know. You know what she said to me before? What? She said, I know your intentions are good. That's why I deal with you! <laughs> is that what I said? In my head. Oh, in your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, this actually gets deeper into what's going on. Because the root of suffering is separation. Right? There's one cosmic energy and it's glowing, radiant perfection. And we all emanate from it. So, it's the perceptions of separation that actually cause disharmony. And the most primal separation is between male and female. So, what we're actually striving for is the reunification with our authentic self and that's why the cravings are so hard not yet that's why <laughs> that's why the cravings are so hard were you going to ask to go to the bathroom okay um so that's why the cravings are so deep now the thing is when when we have to be um we have to be very careful because when we get into the relational dynamics where there's manipulation there's things like that when we're trying to achieve reunification Right and wrong don't exist, but directions do, right? So there is a prime creation. There is an absolute. She's going to the bathroom. So I told you. Yo, she can't hear me right now. Oh, shit, she's back. Okay. Go ahead. Say what you're going to say. I'm just joking. So... We all sense that there's 
something gone horribly awry on Earth, and it's hard to put our fingers on it. And what it is is, are we moving in direction towards the prime creation, or are we moving away from the direction? Now, the manipulation of other beings moves you away directionally. So, at one level, we're all embracing, because that's also an aspect of the divine creation, that it embraces all things. But we need to embrace things as they are. So a person that's manipulating is not equal to a person that's actually authentically relating. Right? And, to be genuine. Right. So, and this is why like... Which means inner alchemy. That's why a lot of younger women get in trouble with schmuck guys, because schmuck guys are very good at mimicking competence, because competence is necessary for comp competence. And if you're just confident, a lot of younger women could get swept away with that. And it causes a lot of things. Now, and that's where relationally the forgiveness element comes in. And the realization that everybody we interact with is an aspect of ourself. And to gain from that aspect of self that we're encountering. And at the same time, to only own our emotions. And the idea is that it's, it's a split. We want to totally be centered in ourselves. But what do we mean by ourselves? Right? We mean the self that contains all other selves. This is, it's the major problem that we deal with sociologically because people don't understand what self, real selfishness actually is. It's not about looking out, you know, look out for number one. It's like, all right, you're stupid. Like, I'm sorry. And by stupid, I mean you're moving away from the object, the, the transcendental creation thing that we talked about at the beginning of the show, eight dimensional yeah. superstructure. You do have to take care of yourself. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I don't mean to take us off on a tangent. She always be interrupting. You know? I, I always take us off on tangents. I love when she All does right? it, too. Yeah. So, I wish she liked me. But she, oh. but she doesn't. So, you know what I do? You know what I do? What? I respect boundaries, yo. <laughs> That's what they call me in my Indian past life. He who respects boundaries oh. and walks with tigers. Oh. Rawr. So I have to embody this smiley tie Why in this life. Why wouldn't you want to? <laughs> I think I'm doing all right. You're wonderful. Okay, is it my turn yet? Yes. Or are you finished? I don't know. Continue. Just talk. You are, are you me. finished? You are me. Okay. She was writing things down. Isn't the root of suffering a belief in suffering? I mean, if you don't believe in suffering and you're just going through stuff, then you're not attached to it in the same way the belief in suffering is rooted in the perception of separation because the, they're mechanical things right so so there's that was just a thing to throw in anyway <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times people be getting pissy with me when i speak in absolute terms <laughs> i would probably be one of them she is. She is. I'm all about options and the gray areas and yeah, no. fuller, deeper understanding with oh. cosmic wisdoms and... I ain't about the gray shit. I'm about the rainbow. Because like, the black and the white, when they interact, the truth isn't gray. It's motherfucking it's rainbow. colorful. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why. It's a rainbow. You wonder why it's a rainbow? Because mm -hmm. you got to say rainbows are good because we live in New York and the gay people get mad if you don't like rainbows. Oh my God. <laughs> nah, that's not it. It's not it. Holla back. Trump 2024. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Here we go. I should have known. I was bound to get thrown into some bullshit. So. White is the container of all color. Is the reflector of all color. Black is the absorption of all color. All right. So if you think about this in male and female terms. White is male because that just be shooting the color everywhere. And female is the black because it be receiving the color. So women are really colorful inside. Really, really fucking colorful. Can you consider liking me? What? <laughs> <laughs> so. so yeah, yeah, it's fun. We've been friends. For, we've been friends for 17,000 years. Thousand years. There's nothing she can do about it. You know what they say, right? I'm trapped. You know what they say? What? You can't pick your friends. I thought you could pick your friends. That's why it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> so. Honestly, can you though? Probably not. Over lifetimes. Over lifetimes, yeah. 
you get but this is the thing this is this is this is where it gets heavy because when the colors collide you know we um you often hear people say the truth is there's two sides and the truth is somewhere in the middle and that's actually bullshit it's the two sides are interacting to create a new dimension together right so the idea that the truth is in the middle is a stagnating notion that life is actually a, a pulsating dynamic process that's always shifting yeah. um m the thing is what we don't realize is that the laws of the universe are structured to account for those shifts right but this is something that's in the chinese book of change it's called the i ching but like do you know when we pronounce so you're talking about sacred geometry now kind of but do you know something you want to hear something interesting when you say i ching like a westerner uh -huh. that actually translates to pandemic in chinese what yeah and how do you say say it it's it correctly. i I can't, I can't say it because i'm not chinese but it's kind of like i ching Something like that. Hey, Jang! It's like with a J, but like it's, it's Chinese, a tonal no, language. True. No, it's totally tonal. And if you can, if, if you say something with just the wrong tone, you're saying a whole different thing. Right. It's true. So, in this is crazy because I know this because I've been there. In the Chinese Book of Change. They would get mad at me when I would say thank you wrong. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Because what did it mean? I don't remember, though. I'm sorry. It's a cop out. It's been too many years. So. I don't know that they ever really told me, but they would be like, no. But what's really interesting is- You'd be like, go, goddamn white girl. You would go like a half hour in one direction or the other, and they would say it slightly differently. Whoa. And, but they would get mad at you if you didn't say it right for their region. And that's why they got that concentration my, camps there now. That was my experience anyway. Not really mad, just like annoyed. <laughs> right, so. I so, did my best. So listen, in the Chinese book of change, that's what eat Chang means oh my god i don't know i'm mean, just gonna call it the book of change but so in the book of change it says that change has an absolute limit all right and basically what that means is that in eternity there's no change because it's just one pulse still thing forever and ever and ever but that when time itself was created all possibilities happen simultaneously so there's actually a container of the limits of change and the first parameters are yin and yang or male and female that type of thing and that those parameters break down into the eight trigrams or yin and yang male and female but the electric and the magnetic the the breath the breath in and the breath out yeah because on i mean if we're talking about the beginning of time and everything is the same it's it would just be the breath in and out but then all possibilities come out of that in and out are we talking about sex again mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just, I just felt. Well, it. and in Qigong also, right? When we're like making, <laughs> I make a fancy little ball, but um, <laughs> many people are just like uh, open and close, in and out, open and close. And so, in a sense, when you're playing with an energy ball, which is all that I'm doing, that thing that so many of us did as kids, just. Feeling the energy between your hands get bigger and then feeling it come back in. Either either you're pressing it back in or you're feeling it sort of um, fold upon itself into a smaller ball. Just doing that brings this primordial chi, this origin energy, this inhale and exhale into your own energy field and can, I mean, my <clears throat> one of my Qigong masters that I studied with just says, if, if you play with an energy ball for eight hours straight, you can heal your body and yourself of anything. Depression, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Anything at all. If you take eight hours to play with an energy ball and just connect with universal primordial chi um, in your own energy field and feel it, feel it filling up your entire energy field, and then um, bringing it back down into this small ball and open and close and out and in or in and out because they are both the same. They're interchangeable. The magnetic, the electric, which is coming us back, bringing us back around to what we first started talking about, that it's all within the other and that is the yin and yang. So it's all one that separates into two. And if you follow Chinese medicine, 
and uh, Chinese philosophy, it brings you through all the numbers, and it's a really beautiful story. We can do that sometime if you like. But, but just the, the one to the two and back to the one again is really powerful, and you always find the one within the other, and that's the yin and yang, and that's the anima within. Yeah. You see why I hang out with her so much? That was dope. I'm smart. Mm -hmm. I put things together. <laughs> that's that's going in the bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> bobblehead. You have one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm smart. <laughs> I put things together. <laughs> Long story. Yeah. Next episode. Maybe. Maybe we'll make them wait. <laughs> oh, that, that's another rule. What? Always leave her wanting more. Oh, did was that in the commandments? That's in the commandments. Commandment really? Five. Yeah, always leave a one. There's so there's five commandments. There, there's a whole bunch. Oh, there's they, a whole bunch. But they all boil down to. But the fifth one. Yeah, no, no. It's kind of like it's kind of like in the Bible when you have like six hundred thirteen commandments, then ten commandments, and Jesus is like. But why is it always leave her wanting more? It's because of the energetic play. Remember when you talked to me about this when we first like we're hanging out? <laughs> I know this one. I can, I want to answer this. Oh yeah, go. So the thing is, is that if you leave her wanting more, you're inciting the vision of the feminine within you because she's left in mystery. So if she's left in mystery, she's going to be drawn to the female within you. So there's actually a symbiosis that's there's occurring. Some mystery, there, yeah. there, there, there's, there's actually, a bit, but it's, it's, and you're building energy, right? Because, but the, again, the woman it represents the mystery, right? So if you leave her wanting more, then you're interlocking in in harmony, right? And then that actually it just creates the channels like. Anybody that's ever had sex probably knows this. Like, because I remember, like, I rule number six. Because remember, there's like in the Bible, there's like six hundred thirteen commandments, and there's ten. And Jesus is like, all right, here's two. <laughs> and so it's like it's kind of the same. Like there, there was rules to this, and then one of the rules was it's not hard to bang a chick, right? And then I said to him, I know, I know why. And he was like, why? And I was like, because if it's hard to bang a chick, she's not gonna fuck you. <laughs> and then he was like, now you understand my son. Now listen, listen, listen. What? I, I'm going to explain because because we take it from the pathological to the virtuous here at a fairy and a deity discuss sex. So from the pathological to the virtuous, I'm, I'm the deity on the outside, but on the inside. You're the fairy. Push my hand. I'm the fairy. And I'm the deity. Crystals, 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 crystals! You don't understand. I'm, we're going to leave you wanting more. I'm going to make you love me. You understand the energy, Diane. I do. Good. I, yeah. yeah, I do. So, so. What, um, when you actually see the ease of it, right? How, how it could seem so difficult. And then when it's actually real, it's just the easiest thing in the world, right? And all of life is like this, you know? I, I was, um... I was Puerto Rican Pussy Guru's life coach. That's why I'm a flirt. Yeah, yeah. That's why so many boys think you like oh, them I mean. when you don't. <laughs> no, but I also, there's also ones I'm not flirting with that think I like them. That's a you problem. It's just that I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> why is she saying, I'm, I'm not joking, she means it. She means it. She does. I'm joking about being all that. Why? You are all that. Well, I know, but I'm just joking about making it about my ego being all that. That's what I'm joking about. Did you get that? <laughs> I know, but... All right. Anyway, this is energy no... dynamic. You were explaining. Oh, I was. Yes. I was, I was explaining. You don't let my tangents so, get so, you off track. So when I, when I was Puerto Rican Pussy Guru's life coach, yes. I would say to him, oh my, oh my seeking son, don't you understand the entire universe is made of the dynamics that you've already mastered? Right? So, and what we meant by this is, you ever see how life is really, really hard? And then once you understand it, it's really easy. That's what it comes down to, like, with sex. It's like, if it's difficult to get in her pants, just don't try. <laughs> right? Because even, like, and then you might even get the mercy fuck. And it's not going to be good. And she's just going to be mad at you. And it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Right? So just don't try. And just relax. Just relax. And then it'll show up and it'll be easy. When you're not looking is when it shows up. When you're not looking and you're all good within yourself, that's when it comes. I want to tell a story. Okay. Okay, so I was celibate for Hasn't ten... he been telling stories the whole time? You talked about an energy ball. In China. China. In China? In China. I didn't... I talked about China, yeah. You did. You talked about China. Go ahead. Is there anything else you would like to talk about? <clears throat> I don't want to be rude. 
Gemini. Pop. <laughs> Where's your Gemini? I don't have any. They don't believe you. Go ahead. Why would you not believe me? I've been telling you the truth for 17,000 <laughs> fucking years. This incarnation. Go ahead. No, I was good to you in every incarnation. You're the one that made the... Never mind, we won't talk about that. Okay, go ahead, please. <laughs> we gotta wrap this up, come on. Oh. Because we have to have a next episode. Oh, we do? Oh, because we have to leave them wanting more? Wanting more. Oh, do you guys Which want more? Which we've already done. Yeah, you guys want more, right? Okay, bye. Oh. <laughs> bye. Bye. If you want. <laughs>